babies. <clears throat> I know y'all ain't seen me in a while, y'all. <clears throat> my voice. Y'all got my windows down. It's pretty down here. It's not too hot down here in Texas. Y'all don't know that's why I'm from Texas, y'all. I'm on my way to the bank. So I said, let me get on here and talk to them real quick, y'all. I'm just excited. I got my little phone, my little car thing, y'all. Put up. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I just wanted to say, uh, hey, what's up? Uh, I know it's been a minute. Y'all probably waiting on that uh, Halloween uh, video. Y'all, we had so much fun at that thing. Y'all almost fell down trying to, oh my God, good look. Now y'all know I'm on a weight loss journey, right? So that mean I'm, you know, I ain't in shape neither. I'm not in shape. So Chai, my daughters and my husband had dressed up to uh, participate. They had like a haunted uh, trail ride. So good, they volunteered me. The people at the place volunteered me to take some video of, uh, you know, the, the trail and stuff. Girl, why do people have me, uh, let me put this up. Y'all might not be able to feel because of this wind, but it just feels so good. And I talk loud, so y'all probably can't hear me. Why these people had me videotaping following the trail, girl? I was like, oh my goodness, y'all should have heard me. I'm gonna try to find some of that footage so y'all can uh, see and hear me good trying to follow up behind the people but it was so dark i just wish it was lighter so y'all could see but anyway y'all the kids had fun they were scared girl my husband was the creeper i'm gonna show y'all that i'm gonna try to show y'all my daughter's costumes and him he was the creeper girl and i'm talking about he looked like that thing if y'all don't know what the creeper is it's uh that thing off of jeepers creepers and then one of my daughters was Derry. Derry is the uh twin the boy that had got killed and his eyes and stuff was out so y'all are uh see that and then my other daughter my oldest daughter she was down i'd be so happy when she be coming down y'all but she's staying with us now so that's why she was here but child she was uh some kind of pig child when i tell y'all my family had them children scared it's all i know it was bad y'all we had grown women jumping out of the trailer <laughs> trying to get away it was funny it was funny now because they was okay them children was so scary, y'all. My husband and my brother. When I say my brother, y'all, he's my brother-in-law, but like, he's like a brother to me. Um, him and all my daughters and all of them, they had to take their mask off uh, at the end of the thing so we could show them kids. You know that you know we don't want nobody to have no nightmares and stuff. But anyway, y'all, I don't want to talk y'all too long. Y'all gonna see a little bit of footage of that, and if I can fix that other footage, I put it at the end because I already edited the video. You know, I just wanted to come on here and say. Uh, hi and let y'all know you know what was going on in the video so what's going on in this video is we just had a little gathering at our house uh when my husband had cooked some hog and some ribs and stuff like that y'all just a little fun i didn't get the fun fun part at the end child my mom and them had went home we was all out there in the backyard playing dominoes and stuff but the language was just too much child so i couldn't put that out there but uh they had fun my husband and his friends had fun i was just back there laughing and enjoying myself until me and the uh like the girlfriends and wives and stuff we came in the house and we were just watching hallmark and stuff but anyway i just show y'all a little bit of uh that how we had fun on that and then i probably have another video up because i got so many videos i have to show y'all because i'm behind but anyway y'all let's just jump into this clip i hope y'all enjoy it and i hope y'all enjoy the clips that will be coming soon all right babies so i will see y'all Even do his tongue, y'all. Just crazy. Tony, good. I do it at them women. So here they are, y'all. Dairy and the Creeper. <laughs> hey, beauties. So, of course, y'all know we are doing like a barbecue family friend get together today. So, I'm about to do the dessert, y'all. And I'm going to try to show y'all what I do, okay? But first, I'm just going to show y'all what I'm going to do. So, this is my first time doing both of these I believe no the banana pudding I kind of do it the same way so I'm gonna be making a banana pudding y'all I'm just using the bananas um, the banana cream jello I'm gonna use a can of sweet condensed milk and of course this is the only thing different I'm using mini vanilla wafers instead of the regular ones where you gotta crunch up and I'm just gonna put it in a pan I will put whipped cream on top but one of my daughters she hate the whipped cream so if they want whipped cream they'll just have to do it themselves I hate that but that's just what I gotta do 
So the new thing that I'm going to do is a, um, it's kind of like a burnt cake, but it's going to be a different kind of burnt cake. And I'm going to use blueberries. Mm -hmm. And then this right here, I'm recording, baby. I'm just going to use a French vanilla cake mix and uh, this sweet condensed milk. And I'm going to go melt a stick of butter, and then I'm going to put this in here. That's what's making it different, uh, a different type of butt cake, okay? But I will definitely show y'all, okay? So I'll be right back once I get everything opened and situated, okay? Y'all, I absolutely hate how my husband started that fire on that barbecue pit. He did it one time before, and he burnt his face a little bit. That's because he was, that was his first time doing it, but he said this way is way easier. So I always watch him when he do this. Because this is dangerous to me. But, he say he got it. So let me go finish my desserts now. Okay, baby, so here we go. So I just got my can of blueberries opened up. I got my butter melted right here, y'all. And then I got my sweet condensed milk open and ready to go. And now I'm just going to, um, I shouldn't have said that in now. I just did it right here. So now I'm just gonna take this, I got it opened up. Y'all, that's my husband coming in and out. Y'all hear the door or something. I'm just going to take this uh, French vanilla cake mix. And I'm just going to put it all in here. I think the, uh, I can't remember the channel that I was watching when she was doing this. But I think she was trying to get like some crumbles or something. Like make a crumble. I don't know, child. But I'm going to kind of do it like her. But y'all know I always try to do my, put my own little spin on stuff. So I'm just gonna mix this up. And y'all see all this other stuff up here. It look like a mess, but it's a mess that I can work with, y'all. Cause I like to lay all my stuff out that I gotta cook for the day when I'm having, when we having functions and stuff. So I won't forget what I gotta cook. That's why y'all see the cornbread and the beans and stuff like that over here. So I'm making some cornbread muffins to go with my uh, other washer just got. I'm making some cornbread muffins with my um, Charro beans. Uh -oh. Everything clean, y'all. So if it fall out, y'all seem pretty good now. That's fine. All right. Got that all mixed up good. I hope this turned out right. Because like I say, y'all, this one right here, this is my first time doing this one. Okay, so I'm just mixing this all up. And girl, I think she used two sticks of butter, but I ain't putting no two sticks of butter in nothing. No way. That's mixed up pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it. Okay, y'all. And I use pans like this here, baby, because my family they uh, take stuff stuff home, and I don't care as long as I put something inside for my husband. And my girls already know that uh, when my family come, they usually taking plates home. Matter of fact, I just went to the Dollar Tree and got some uh, paper plates. Even though it ain't no good deal. It was like 10 in there, y'all, for $1.25. But I grabbed them. And this is a 21-ounce can of blueberries, okay? So I got that. And then, you know what? I gotta take this. And I'm just gonna spread them out a little bit. So I can get them all over the pan. If y'all can see how y'all are situated. When I get going with my YouTube uh, more, you know, because I'm just now pretty much starting this channel, I'm going to make sure I have all my stuff set up right. But as long as y'all get the gist of everything, that's all that matters. But y'all can see stuff and hear me. So this is what the blueberries are looking like. Spread across the pan. Okay, and then I'm going to take this whole can of sweet condensed milk, and this is a 14 ounce. And I'm just going to put it across this. Just pour it across here. <sighs> I wasn't gonna put this whole thing, but I might as well go on and do it. Cause child, that sweet condensed milk is sweet. Oh, it's good, y'all. When I was younger, I used to uh, uh, when my grandmother used to cook stuff. I used to try to sneak me some of it, child. It's so sweet and good. So I'm trying to get every little crevice. I hope this turned out good. Cause my daughter, y'all, she can cook a um, blueberry cobbler. Ooh, child, that thing be so good. But I wanted to do this cause it's so quick and I don't want to wake her up and 
Because she, if I had asked her, she would have been like, yeah, mom, I'll do it. But I don't want to talk on the rest. I got some good babies. We were really blessed with some good ones. Thank the Lord. So I got as much as that out of there as I need it. And then I just put it in there with the blueberries, kind of swirl it around a little bit. She, the lady didn't do that, but I'm just doing that. Okay, and so then, once you get that how you want it, you will take this cake mix mixture that I just did. And she kind of like plopped it around up in there. Okay, and she just took her hands and she just kind of plopped it. You making some breakfast, baby? That's what I'm gonna try to do, try to plop it around the pan. See, this is what I'm making, y'all, and I'm just putting them around up in here. That's one thing about my daughters, they love crust. And me too. My, uh, whatever kind of dessert I have, you gotta have me a good little crust child. I want to make a blackberry cobbler, but I can't because one of our daughters is allergic to blackberries. So, y'all hear that popping in the background? That's my husband making us some breakfast. One of those sausage biscuits we got for us today. Man, well, what is that you watching? So there we got it. So what she did was she put butter on top of hers. This is what it's looking like, y'all. Can I see that? She put butter on top of it, but I'm not putting no butter. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven, y'all. And I will tell y'all um, once I get it out, okay? I'm gonna put it in my oven is on 330. I might put it on 350, and I'll tell y'all how long it took, okay? And then I'll be back to show y'all my banana pudding. Okay, baby, so now y'all see me mix up the pudding because it takes time to mix that up. So now I'm just opening up the cookies. And I'm going to layer some down. I didn't spray this pan, y'all, because it's not going to be. Okay. Making me a layer of cookies. And you can layer it in the do, you know, whatever you want to do, however you want to layer it. Okay, then I think I'm going to give me some bananas. Like my daughter, I'm not going to put that many bananas in here, y'all, okay? You choose how many, I know I'm opening this banana wrong, but how did I say open up these bananas? I open up mine like this here, y'all, this here. So, I'm going to peel the banana. Peel it how you want to peel it. Just put it over. You know, just put it all over the pan. And like I said, y'all, I'm not going to put that in there because my daughter don't like it. She loves bananas, but not her banana pudding. Like I say, y'all, that's that crust. I'm going to love that crust. Okay, so. I filled the banana. Now I'm going to, y'all see that? Bananas. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of the condensed milk on top. To spread it around a little bit. Ooh, it's coming out like cold syrup, y'all. God dang. I just don't want to come out. And I'm not going to mix this or nothing. Just how I have it layered, that's how it's going to um, go in the icebox. Alright, so. That's good for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this pudding on here. I think I could have added a little bit more milk, but that's okay. I think I will add some more milk, y'all. Let me go add some more milk and I'll be okay, right back. I'm back. I just added me some more milk. Y'all, it said add two cups of milk on the box, but I always go less than whatever a recipe called for because we don't like our stuff runny around here. So if I, you know, that gives me room to add stuff when I need to, you know? So now this is better because what I had was a little too thick. Yeah. Okay, so that's the tip that I have for y'all. 
If you don't like your stuff running, don't always go by a recipe. I really don't go by a recipe anyway. Recipes anyway, but um, I try to get like the base of what they're calling for. And then I add whatever else I want to add. So now I'm going to add some of this pudding on. Right? And y'all, this is just the way I make banana pudding. We as a family love it, so this is just what I do. I think some people put, is that where they put the uh, meringue on here? Banana pudding, is that that or is that just a lemon pie? I can't stand that meringue stuff, but I don't like scrambled eggs. The only kind of eggs I eat is um, boiled. I can't eat those other kind of eggs. Okay, so I can kind of like, I'm not mixing it, I'm just kind of like spreading it around. Okay. And then I will usually add another layer of bananas, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the rest of these cookies. Should I add the cookies last? Yeah, I'm going to add the cookies last. I'm going to add the rest of these guys. And a banana pudding is just let, uh, let, uh, lettering. You're just putting on here what you want because I have seen people take cookies. I forgot the name of those cookies, but some kind of cookies that they uh, use instead of the vanilla wafers or with the vanilla wafers. They say it's good, but I just never tried it like that. So I put another layer of cookies on there. Now I'm going to put the rest of this sweet condensed milk on here. is so good y'all it's so rich you gotta watch what you are eating y'all know i'm on a weight loss journey but it's all in uh what's it called you gotta balance yourself proportions and stuff can't just go in and eat well me me i'm talking about me y'all i don't know if somebody else can lose weight by uh, eating this whole pan of banana pudding but i know i can't so I just balance it out. Okay, so we got that on there. And now I'm gonna put the rest of this pudding, and I'll just sit it in the ice box. I'm gonna cover mine with foil and just sit it in there. And by the time they get ready to eat it, it'll be ready to go. What I wish I could do, like I told y'all, put some whipped cream on top, cool whip, whatever. But I can't. But I have some in the ice box, so. When I eat mine, I put some on there separately. And my other daughters as well. My husband, he really don't care. He eat either way. Either way. And that's it, y'all. That is a very simple uh, recipe. Quick recipe. A quick banana pudding. And you know, the, uh, the cookies get soft as they sit in the icebox. And that is that, y'all. So I will show y'all uh, what it looks like when somebody get a piece. And I will also show y'all what the blueberry dump cake looks like. All right, beauties. I was washing dishes and I said, oh, I got to show this. I forgot. I cooked this so much, so I just assumed everybody know, know what I be doing. But you might be new to the channel. So I always want to uh, share with y'all what I be doing, okay? So I'm just making some charro beans, y'all. And right now, I'm just sauteing some onions and bell peppers with some bacon. And then I'm going to add some jalapenos in there with some tomatoes and some cilantro. Cilantro. And then I'll wash my beans and add them in there and let them cook for a little bit. And then I'll add a little bit of hamburger meat. Um, I would add my um, ham hocks, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. But I will let y'all see, okay? So right now, everything is just sauteing with the bacon. That's that good flavor. And then, of course, you just season it how you want to season it. I know there's recipes out there for um, how you would actually do like a probably an authentic churro bean. But these beans, beans, my family and friends love them, so... I'm just going to stay with what the seasonings that I use. And that's usually just uh, whatever I have on hand. Usually like a bouillon and pepper and stuff like that. Garlic. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear my baby talking? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Baby, that's all I'm showing is you cleaning yeah, your girl. ribs. Y'all, he do not like nobody knowing his seasoning. Not our family or nobody. <laughs> I'm going to try to show y'all a picture of the pig on the pit. I'll probably go out there when he put these on. But they're already seasoned and ready to go. And um, like I said, I'm going to try to go out there. To show y'all the pig, okay? So I just added the tomatoes and the cilantro and what else did I add? The jalapenos. So I'm just going to let that cook down real good. And then I'm going to add uh, my ham hock with some water. 
don't have to season that because it has a good season to it. I believe it's a smoked ham hock. So I'm going to let that cook probably for like an hour before I even add my beans. This is what we are looking like, like right after about 15 minutes. And it smells really good. So I will show y'all what it's looking like afterwards. Oh, look, he loved to uh, lick the ground. The my the husband throw something out there. Oh, it's the juice. Oh, yeah, I forgot y'all. The pig is cut all up and stuff. But that's it over there. My baby love barbecuing. I told him, more power to him. Because I don't. You try not to put it on the hot side, right, baby? <sighs> so I try to show y'all when everything done, because I don't think I'm going to come back out here. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all, so that has cooked down like I like it. So now I'm just going to add this ham hock, this smoked hock. It's a um, cross-cut ham shank pieces. So I had these couple of pieces left in here, y'all. It came with like four pieces, I think. And I'm just putting it in here because it's just going to give it an extra flavor. So I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to add some water in here, enough to cover everything. Put the top on, let it cook for like an hour. Uh, and then add my beans. And then I'll add hamburger meat after that. But I'll show you all the process. Okay, so I have added my water to this pot. I'm going to stir it up real good. And y'all, I just wanted to tell y'all, I think I told y'all, but I'm not sure. But when you adding like ham hocks, ham shanks, Joel bacon stuff like that that stuff is already it already has salt in it so just watch your seasoning you don't want to add you may not even want to add any seasoning you know as far as salt when you cooking with that but i just want to let y'all know that okay so now i'm just going to stir this to get the vegetables all stirred up put the top on it let it cook to tenderize so i just washed and rinsed and added my beans y'all now this is where i will usually uh add my seasoning but i'm not going to do it because i still got to put hamburger meat in here and when i do that i'm going to season it a little bit and also y'all um some people say like they soak their beans overnight i know my grandmother used to do that but i don't know nothing about that so i don't do it i just rinse them and clean them real good and drain them and stuff before i put them in there so i'm gonna get this a good stir and i'm gonna let it cook for like an hour with the top on it checking it and stirring it and then i'll add my hamburger meat and season that and we'll go from there My husband is doing his thing, and I am getting the boiled corn together. That's all I did was salt and pepper it, and I'm adding some butter, and now I'm going to add some water and let it boil. I think y'all all know how I make Jiffy cornbread. You just eat the bottom of the box, or like I do, I just add the box. If I do two boxes like I'm doing now, I do two eggs with a little sugar and some milk, and that's it. Here's what we're looking like. Yep. How long it take this to cook, baby? Back? I don't know. I'm gonna the hog. Pull this a little bit. Oh, okay. Probably pull him and do my do my damn thing too. Yo, wet. Is that what yeah. they call it? Look, y'all. He look. Look, look at this, y'all. He looking at me talking about. Uh, uh. Don't say that. Baby, ain't nobody trying to. Here we go. He just checking on it. That's the hog right there. Ooh, what was that? Child, let me get back. My husband loves the barbecue, y'all, and I don't know why. Babe, why you love the barbecue? Because I'm that damn good. Oh. Another good thing you good in. I'm good. Go ahead on, baby. I do. One of them over here, his fault is wrapped, y'all. But y'all know he don't want me to show all that. Boy, that's pitiful. Put some more wood on there. Oh, okay. Y'all, they made this at their job, too. Didn't y'all, baby? No, they made it here. Yeah, my baby made this. He made his own pit. Okay, he preparing the hog, y'all, the next step. Look at this. I Look. decided to make a potato salad, y'all. Just for another side. My beans are rolling. I gotta add my hamburger meat. And the corn is getting started.
See, that kind of stuff there. That don't make no sense. That she didn't spray some of that, that spray up in there. They got people smelling that candle. Don't make no sense. What you doing? They are playing. All right, I hope y'all all playing this the same way. They have so many different ways to play Uno. Yeah, I had to pull in. My yard child, because I ain't got no room to pull. <laughs> My husband finna go. <laughs> he finna go scare Roddy. <laughs> A man in the neighborhood. I'm trying not to let him see because if he see me, he gonna know who it is. <laughs> Can y'all see? Girl, you gonna scare to death. Look. <laughs> Boy, look at him. My husband over there, y'all, in the woods, in the bed, trying to walk to his house. He right there. Y'all see him in the road? <laughs> y'all can't see because it's sun. Look, look. <laughs> they go to Hayride, y'all, that they supposed to be giving for the kids. I don't know if most of them were scared when they got out the car and seen my husband, so I don't know how they going to make it. But I ain't gonna be back here long. It's cold out here, and we got candy to pass out at the house, child. I'm gonna let y'all see what they looking like back here. Woo! I'll show y'all when we get here. There's something they got up here. This is really nice, though. Doing something for the neighborhood kids. Because they don't really do stuff like this in this neighborhood. Oh, it's a bird. Did you see that? No. <laughs> Hi. I just came back here to see how everything was looking. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's my brother, y'all. What up? He told me to get his mask off. Now what is this? <laughs> it's cold out here. These people need to come on. Ooh, child, my oldest baby decided to come out, y'all. She just throwed on a. What is that? Ooh, girl, that's that pig. It was on something. All right, they scared. I don't know what out these children. <laughs> All right, baby, we're getting your place. And my bad butt right here with her mama, trying to help me because I'm cold. You gonna say hi? <laughs> y'all know she ain't. Y'all see my daughter over there? She trying to tell them, go back, go back. For <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. Girl, somebody already crying. Oh my goodness gracious. They can't see you, baby. Trying to get with my husband, get him back. Oh, you right there, okay. <laughs> where is this, where is he going? Now he done went down the wrong trail. He coming through the metal. He coming through the metal. 
Get back up, catch your baby so he can come through the middle. They back here trying to act out a scene. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm going in the house. Trying to get TikTok, Instagram, or something. I don't know. But I'm cold. <laughs>